Hey there, how are you today? My name is Dana Damara and you have landed on Astrocast. This is your weekly forecast from October 23rd to October 29th. So this is a huge week. It's a huge week of big changes, um, karmic endings. Um, there's a, a, a mix between intensity and abundance. And I'm going to start off just by saying that Remember that whenever I bring this information to you, it's really just a generalization of what's going on in the astrology. And so you, as the listener, get to decide how you are going to utilize this energy. And that's a really important piece that I want to get across because I can tell you that this week is going to be about these big shifts and the way you process that information will then dictate how this lands for you. Now, that's not to say that what's written in your chart has no um, intensity, has no truth, because what's written in your chart and how it kind of mashes up with what's going on, that will really support you in understanding how to use this energy. But we have conflicting energies. We've got all this beautiful energy this week from Jupiter. And then we have all this like really intense energy from Mars and Mercury. And then we have the full moon lunar eclipse at the very end of the week. So it's kind of big. And I'm going to do a whole report on the full moon lunar eclipse because it deserves huge airtime, but I'm going to give you a couple of things. Okay. So first of all, on the 22nd of October, Mars entered or Mercury entered Scorpio. Okay. Mercury entered Scorpio on the 22nd, the sun entered Scorpio today on the 23rd. So just the fact that those two planets are in the sign of Scorpio tells me and you that this is intense. This is deep work, right? The sun trines Saturn. So this is about all this work that may be in dedication that you've put forth into a project or maybe a discipline for yourself, right? This is about you staying focused, the eye on the prize. Okay, so sun trine Saturn, it's, it helps along the path. So when you have a trine, that energy of a trine is a harmonious aspect. So the sun and Saturn, it's like, stay the course, warrior Jedi, right? Right. And then we have the lunar eclipse, which I'm going to do a whole report on. And then within that energy of the lunar eclipse, we've got the moon conjuncting Jupiter, which is going to give us positive energy. But let me just say something as a reminder. Okay. So those of you who I kind of talk about this stuff with all the time, you know this, but it's very worthy of repeating. Every planet and every sign, zodiac sign, has a dark and a light. And that's not like a good and a bad, okay? So every energy, even within us, we all have this masculine and feminine, dark, light, okay, energy, all of us. And so when we think about, say, for example, Jupiter, okay, Jupiter is a planet of expansion. Yay, abundance, good fortune, this is amazing, but Jupiter, the opposite side of Jupiter is also um, like overzealous, over-exaggerated, um, you know, overwhelmed, giving too much, like thinking that all the eggs are already in the basket and they're not quite there yet, that kind of thing. So I want you to remember that with all of this tumultuous energy that's happening, I'm looking at my notes really quick. Yes, all of this tumultual energy that's happening, we're still in between eclipses. So don't put the cart before the horse. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Don't put the cart before the horse. I cannot tell you how many times my parents used to tell me that. Don't put the cart before the horse, Dana. Put the heart, horse before the cart, right? So make sure that you've got this um, positive utilization of Saturn energy, discipline, um, harmony, like what keeps you balanced because things are going to shift around you. And, uh, just last time I checked, 
there are a lot of things that we don't have control over. I would say pretty much everything. And those of you who think you have control over things, I'm just going to tell you that the only thing that you have control over is your reaction. So this week with these big transits happening in the sky, the big lunar eclipse, um, and you know things shifting around you, keep in mind that the only thing you have a discipline over is your reaction, right? So let things shift, fall into this energy, the softness of Jupiter, the softness of Venus, like fall into that. And when you find yourself potentially like, pushing or trying to push the river or getting angry or feeling a sense of like impatience, just take a breath. And I think I'll watch this video too, so that I don't forget that lesson. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this helped you. I will put out the full moon recording soon-ish uh, before uh, the middle of the week for sure. Um, if you want to join us for a uh, sound healing this Wednesday, I will be at Alila on the bluff. Uh, if I don't see you, uh, I hope you have a beautiful week. And if you want your chart read, please reach out to me, Dana at DanaDamara.com. You can also find all the information about uh, how to get your chart read on my site. Just go to DanaDamara.com. You'll find it super easy. Uh, thank you so much. Have such a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.